Hope you're all doing well out there. In this video, we're gonna be pulling the fuse, the anti-lock brake fuse, out of this all-wheel drive Astro van, year 2000. All right, so I've already got the cover pulled off. Anti-lock braking system. So right there, it's the 60. There we go. However, what happens when you pull the fuse out? Is the all-wheel drive system gonna kick in or not? Well, that's a good question. We're gonna go ahead and test that out right now. All right, guys, we got the van jacked up here. Same with back here, we are all the way off the ground. And that's what we got going on right there. So we're just gonna see if with the fuse pulled out, if that kicks it off the jack stand right there. Without further ado. All right, here we go. Well, it works. All right, guys, a little secret. I've actually had it out for about three and a half years now, ever since I bought the van. First bought the van, put a lot of work into it, and uh, put it all back together, and behold, the ABS system started acting up on me. And I researched into it a little bit, and I said, well, heck with it, I'm gonna try to pull the fuse out. So if you don't wanna pull the fuse out, here's the way to actually correctly fix the problem. I guess I can't say 100% this is gonna fix your problem, but this is what I would do if I was going to put the fuse back in. There's wheel sensors, there's two of them, one on each side of the van there, and not going to pull the wheel off to show you guys but if i can find a pick i'll throw one up and anyways what happens is those sensors inside they get corroded and then get dirty so you might be able to take a wire brush and clean out the sensors where they stick down into and clean those out and give that a try or you could just buy new sensors i can't remember how much they were but after i just got done putting a whole bunch of work into the van the last thing i wanted to do was buy sensors so um i know there are quite a few guys out there i've heard in the past that have experienced the same problems with the abs system goofing up and some guys have even gotten accidents because of it so uh and yeah like i said earlier in the video anything under 15 mile per hour or even above for that sake but really when you're cruising five mile per hour and you're stop and go traffic at the drive through or at the stoplight or whatever and you're going to stop and your brakes lock up and there's a car in front of you and you can't stop that's a pretty scary feeling so i eliminated the problem by pulling the fuse out and like i said it's been three and a half years now and i haven't had any problems what the abs system is supposed to do is it's designed so your brakes don't lock up and skid instead of skidding you're supposed to come to a stop by click 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 and you're supposed to slowly slow down but when that system kicks in well click click and, and then you got no more pedal you're sitting there trying to press the pedal and it's not going down so i said heck with it guys but i just wanted to uh, make that known I haven't had any problems. I guess I have skid once in three years, but just make a middle note that if you do pull the fuse, that is what the system is there for. So want to make you aware of that. Hope this helps somebody out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot and I'll talk to you in the next one.